Happening today, the YMCA will cut the ribbon on the brand new Jackie Robinson Family YMCA building. And you're looking at video of this amazing place right next to us there. 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens is there live right now this morning. Jared, and you found the changes inside the building will have an even bigger impact on the neighborhood around it. Yeah, Jason, Virginia, good morning. This is a new $26 million facility, and you look inside, you can even see through the windows because it's closed right now. It is gorgeous, but you don't have to step very far away from it. Pretty much once you get right outside of this spike-topped fence to know that the neighborhood around it needs a little love. And talking to people who live here, they say that they think this new building can give the entire community a facelift. James Taylor sees problems in his neighborhood. He walks by graffiti-covered walls every day. The kids that like to run the streets, like to tag on fences and stuff. He hopes the new YMCA can help fix that. A lot of kids get in trouble, you know, with the law and stuff, and I'll be telling them it's not all about that. The new $26 million building replaces the oldest Y in San Diego. Yadizef Alvarado used to go there in high school. She plans to rejoin and says it finally feels like her neighborhood isn't being left behind. I have seen a lot of uh, YMCA's being remodeled out there, you know, in like, you know, better communities. And it just kind of like upset me that ours was just kind of like, it had like um, really old equipment. And then like the, like everything was kind of like, you know, old. Not anymore. The new gym has all new workout equipment, a sparkling new basketball court, baseball fields with turf, and Jackie Robinson's number front and center as a reminder of everyone's potential. It makes people proud to call the area home. That's what we need, you know, for the community. You know, like if they build something, at least clean it up for the area, you know, make it safe for the uh, for kids and for people just to have a good time. The ribbon cutting happens in just a couple of hours. Registration is already available both in person here at the facility and online. We've got all of that information on TedNews.com. Live in the Mountain View area, Jared Aarons, Ted News. Yeah, Jared, I had the pleasure of, of visiting that, that new place last week, and it is a gem for the community. And it's also not just for kids coming out of school and visiting, but I saw a lot of seniors there, too. Absolutely, Jason. They say it's open to everyone, all ages, and they're going to have programs and events for all people, all types of people. They're really hoping that this becomes more than just a gym, but a community yeah, center. It is, and it means a lot to a lot of people there, Jared. All right, thank you very much, Virginia.